Well, hello everyone and welcome to our latest video in this unit on fractions. This is dividing fractions. Uh, I'm Mr. Burke and today I'm going to show you uh, how to divide fractions by fractions. Now, if you're in my class and you're here every day, uh, we've already learned how to divide uh, whole numbers by fractions and fractions by whole numbers. And that's easily done uh, with a number line. So you don't actually have to do too much in terms of division. All you have to do is group things together with number lines. However, it gets a little more algorithmic and a little less conceptual when it comes to dividing a fraction by a fraction because there really isn't an easy way to show it without making it more complicated. Um, I'm going to show you a strategy today. I'm not going to really explain how it works because, well, quite honestly, I really don't understand myself how it works. I just know that it does. So let's have a look. Um, you've been working with situations, for example, 3 divided by 1 third, right? And that means 3 wholes divided into groups of 1 third, or 1 quarter divided into 4, which would be 1 quarter divided into 4 groups, and you've used the number line. Here, I'm going to give you a situation. Okay, let's say, for example, you're given a fraction 3 quarters divided by 2 thirds. Okay, and you have to figure this out. What do you do? Well, there's a simple strategy, and this is what the strategy is called. The strategy is called invert and multiply. Okay? With invert and multiply, what it means is you take the last fraction here and you flip it. And instead of dividing, you multiply. Okay? So instead of it being 3 quarter divided by 2 thirds, the question now becomes, 3 quarters times 3 over 2. And you simply work your way across. 3 times 3, 9, uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9 eighths. Or you could say 1 and 1 eighth. There's your answer. Okay? It's that simple. It truly is that easy. So I'm going to give you a question right now. Okay? And I want you to pause the video once I put the question up here, try it on your own, and then play it, and I'll show you how to do it. Okay? Here comes your question to do on your own. I'm going to give you this question. Uh, 4 over 5 divided by 3. No, nope, divided by 2 over 6. So try that question on your own, and uh, then press play when you're ready for the explanation. OK. So you tried this question. Let's see how you did. All right, invert and multiply means you take this fraction and you flip it. So the question now becomes 4 over 5 times 6 over 2, OK? And so when we look at this, we have 4 times 6, which is going to be 24, right? And 5 times 2, which is going to be 10. Now, this is fractions. This is math, which means it needs to be in simplest form and it needs to be in a mixed number because this is an improper fraction. You can do this in either order. I'm going to turn it into a mixed number, then I'll put it in simplest form because the numbers will be smaller. So we've got a denominator of 10 here, right? So obviously there's more than 10, so that's the whole, right? Um, so we've got 10, we've actually got 2 because there's 20. So it's 2 and 4 tenths, okay? 4 and 10 are both divisible by 2. So if we go 4 divided by 2, it's going to be 2. And two to, 10 divided by 2 is 5. So 2 and 2 fifths is the answer in simplest form and in mixed number. Okay? So that's pretty much, you did it. If you got that, 2 and 2 fifths, you got it right. Okay? Um, so the process again, change the mixed number to improper, invert and multiply, simplify it, and convert back to a mixed number. It's that simple. 